live in 1980 or would you live in 2024? Uh, for mental health, I think it'd be better to be back in the 80s. For sure. I'm going 80s, y'all. But as I far as like happier convenience and quality of life in general, like the, all the amenities and accoutrements. You're going today? I'd go today. I'm going 1980. I just think it's harder to live in the present now than it was back then. Yes, to enjoy what you have. Well, I know. And we didn't have, you know, social media to go, here's all the things you don't have and we're going to push it in your face every single day. Yes, Back totally. then, you just had to, like, you saw what your neighbors were doing. Yep. It's about it and your friends. Mm-hmm. Now I you can know. see the whole world at your fingertips. It's I just crazy. think it's too much. We weren't meant to have this much information and power and technology at once. No, they're saying that. Like, scientifically, it's coming out that, like, we were not, we're not supposed to know what's happening on the other side of the globe. Like, we can't handle, like, in our bodies and our brains, like, the world, so. I just think there's still hope for people's money um, for a lot of reasons. There's a lot that's not in our control. And what we're talking about today is really inflation. And yeah. yes, we can't control inflation if it's going to be 2.5% or 9% and things are more expensive. But we also have to remember that we can control going into debt and our lifestyle and our spending and how much money we make. We can improve in our careers, work extra, make compromises and sacrifices for a short period of time. So I still think this is the greatest time to be alive in general. Sure. Because of all of those things. And yes, it's a bummer that the prices ain't like they used to be. Right, You know, right. but move on. I think that's it too. I think there is a level of like, here's the reality. We can kind of like mope and be like, oh my God, this sucks right now. And then what are you going to do? Right. What it, are you going to do? It's the next step. The next step is what's important. And we do believe in hope around here. And we see we see it every day though, George. We see people from every demographic, every part of America. I mean, anything. And people are doing it. Like they're getting out of debt. They're getting savings. They're paying off their houses. I mean, like crazy stuff. So it can be done because we see it. We see it every day. No matter day. what generation you are. And yep. every generation thinks they're the best and the other ones don't get it. And, you know, the millennials don't like the boomers. And Gen Z thinks the millennials are lame. And I'm like, <laughs> enough with the generational wars and stop blaming the boomers for all of your life problems. Because guess what? You're going to inherit all their wealth one day. <laughs> so you should be real nice to them before they take you out of the will. All right. Last one is average car price. Ooh, this is fun. In 1980, what was the average car price? For like a new car. I'm going to say $6,000. I'm going to say $6,001, Bob. You can't do that. <laughs> what about now? And now, oh, the now, average price for a new car? I'm going 32000 I'm going thirty-five. All right. In 1980, it was $7,574. So Rachel gets that point. Where'd you get that strategy from? (laughs) The price is right. Bob Barker, don't you take my credibility away. Wow. And today's average car price is $48,401. Oh my gosh, really? What are these people buying? It do be expensive, but that's... You don't have to buy a $48,000 car just because that's the average price of new cars. No, no. But man, that is, yeah. Because that's factoring in everything. From your Mercedes let's to look the Honda at the, Civic, I mean, all of it, yeah. Let's look at the numbers here. In 1980, that new car would have cost 34% of the annual household income on average. Today, a new car is more like 65% of the Ouch. average family's annual household income. Ouch. That stings. Mm. But I feel like cars have long been a scam, and now it's just getting worse. Well, I don't know Because we're, we have more access to loans. That, but I also think cars are well-made, I follow the car mom. I don't know if you follow her on Instagram. Oh, she's great. She, no. I've had her on my show before. But she says this a lot because she this is all she does is car content. But she says cars last so much longer these days. They do. Like, it, it can, I thought it was one was of like, those. They don't make them like they used to. No. She would say, like, if a car's hitting 200000 you're fine. Like, back then, it would be like, oh, God, it's, it's going to start, like, falling apart. She's like, but they will last. And a, a, a well-made car, right? You Reliable go, you go Honda. Model. So you just want to go to those reputable car brands. And, yeah, they will last longer. They will. But I don't know. I don't think it's the—they don't make them like they used to anymore. And car payments have become so prevalent. Everyone just goes, well, you'll always have a car payment. Might as well pick up another one at 600 bucks instead of 500 to get the fancier car. Yeah, so do you think that's the scam? People are willing just to go into debt so it's raising prices because people are willing to spend more and more and more. Just like what happened with college tuition. Same thing. Student loans were easily accessible. Yeah, the government backed it, so Sally Mae is like, "Sure, you can have a hundred grand." Yeah, I know, but that's the government backing it. I mean, the auto industry, I do think, is different though because with chi- I mean, technology, all of that. It's got to be more expensive today to build a car. It is, right? But I still think there's a lot of just like, well, people are willing to pay more, so, so we can we'll charge, just charge more. more. When you look at dealerships and the fees they're adding on, yeah, it's, it's just, it's fair. I don't like it. So stick to a used car in 
cash. A few years old, it's going to do just fine. And unless you're a millionaire, do not buy a new car. Capiche? Capiche. That's good advice. Capiche. Time-tested wisdom. 